Well, now to a case of Republican bad timing. Many GOPers are holding up Homeland Security funding to protest the president's executive orders on immigration. No less than the country's first Homeland Secretary, Tom Ridge, telling me, though, that it's a big mistake, and right now with all the terror worries, a foolish one. To Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan on whether the party has a plan B. Congressman, is there a plan B? The plan is the bill we sent over there, Neil, and, and to get seven Democrat senators who last November, when the president, who before had said 22 times he couldn't do it, then did the executive amnesty unconstitutional action, seven Democrat senators criticized him. They should step forward, bring this but bill up, give they're us not. the votes so we I need. Guess I understand what the virtual, what you're trying to do, but you've heard from the likes of Tom Ridge and other Republicans who fear the vehicle you're trying to push, you shouldn't be pushing. What do you say? Well, well, look, we understand it's a danger. You just talked about how dangerous and right. evil this terrorist threat is. We understand that. We've provided every single penny that the president wants to get to the Department of Homeland Security, to secure our borders, to do the job that needs to be done. We've provided that money in the DHS bill, but we also took an oath to uphold the Constitution. And everyone understands what the president did last November was unconstitutional. So, and so, more importantly, so I, I it's unfair. So you're saying it's you're unfair. not... You're not withholding funding for Homeland Security. You're withholding funding for that the portion bill. that would administratively handle this, that you argue the president is illegally pushing, right? Well, yeah, we passed a bill that funds the Department of Homeland Security. It just says, Mr. President, we're not going to allow you to use the taxpayer dollars. Right. The people who spoke loud and clear last November and said what you did is unconstitutional. Legal scholars say it's unconstitutional. Senator, Senator said it's unconstitutional. Let's, let's pass that legislation, which is exactly what the American people want us to do and why they sent us here. All right. We'll see how it goes. But is there a plan B if that fails? There, there's, there's no plan B right now because <laughs> plan A is what the American people want. And we've got right. 22 days to run this campaign and persuade seven Democrat senators to do the right thing. Do you really think you're going to get seven Democrats to get on board? You know what they said? It, 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 this is the problem with this place. People say one thing at election time and then never carry it through. They said it was wrong last November. Now's your chance to. And frankly, all we're asking them is bring the bill up. You can offer amendments. You can have a debate. No, that's all, a, no, no, that's a very there's, good point. You, there are ways you can things. finesse it. Congressman, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Neil.